What's good? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back with another video now. As you can see, right now, we 10 days away from 2K22. Now, y'all know 2K don't release nothing on time. All the news been late. We barely been finding out information that today, they finally released the blog. Now, I'm not going to go over everything in the blog. Now, if y'all want to read the blog, I might post it in my description so y'all can look at it. But, yeah, but y'all know 2K21 was terrible for defense. So, the first thing in the blog, they said the primary, the primary goal for defense was to give gamers a tool to really change the outcome of the game or the flow in that room. Now, 2K, they always sound good on here, but you never know. We always got to see the actual gameplay. And they also said they fixed shot contest and the block system were also supposedly, and I quote, rebuilt. Now, are they always rebuilt? We'll see, cause you know, when they be having people test the game, they don't be having no real people test the game. It just be bull people, like, come on now. Now they also have for floor defenders, body rise ups and bumps feel much more rewarding as the motion team has dramatically improved the field of on ball defensive movement. Do I believe that? I don't know. I'm going to have to see that when the game come out, when I play it, or when everybody play it. Steals also receive an upgrade with greater emphasis placed on the steal attribute. Lower rated steals get sluggish animations that punish them when they reach when high rated stealers with good timing and opportunity will be able to pick pockets at a much higher rate. Now as a defender, I like that. It sounds good. Last time we've been able to get steals was 19 and 20. 21, boy, great defense may not always be featured in real life highlights, but all of these improvements are what I'm most excited about for 2K22 now. It sounds good. They, they can write something up real good. Now, can they execute it? I don't know. I really don't. Now, I like that. Now, if you keep going down the blog, they start talking about their dribbling. I'm not even about to go through all the dribbling because they be they love changing the dribbling all the time. They change it every year. Now, we'll have to see what the new animations come out. See what I can combo up and do what I do, you know. That's what I go crazy, you know. That's what I do, you know. I combo up. Now, they focus on the post play. Now, when it comes to post offense in 2K, it's always been broken forever from 18 especially 19 20 was crazy too 21 you could still do it. like they've never they, i haven't played a 2k game where post scores weren't dominant like they've always been dominant and now they get even more hopefully like they said the defense can be very rewarding now let's see now a little treat for the base we spent a lot of time upgrading post play with new loads of content including new movement and new arsenal of back to basket moves okay so they trying to have somebody do the hakeem the dream shake you know with the little post we gonna see though we gonna see now they say shooting now the shooting and next gen was very easy it was very easy and then current gen it had zen so that ruined half of it too so hopefully they pat zins which they probably will which i don't know either we're gonna have to see because 2k you know they weird Shooting has undergone, undergone many changes for 2K22. There is a new shot meter with a dynamically resize and make window. This window will expand with your taking high quality shots with good shooters but will shrink when heavily contested. Shooting with a low rated shooter or fatigue. So basically you got a low rating 3 and you tired, you probably not going to hit it. Now, like I said, it sounds good. Hopefully they can execute it. Because every year at the end of the game, people with low rating three pointers can always shoot. It always works every year. Now we're gonna have to see. Now we also made a strong push to get more of a skill gap in the finishing at the rim. So, cause hey, talking about this finishing. Now, I hope finishing not like negligent. Now, if they can balance it out, it'll be a lot better. But that's what they say. I'm not going to read through all of this. Now I want to get into the new badges. Now the new badges we have are called Fast Twitch, Grace Under Pressure, Limitless Takeoff, Mouse in the House, Unshippable, Chef, Limitless Spot Up, Lucky Number 7, Mismatch Expert, Glue Hands, Hyperdrive, Quick Chain, Post Playmaker, 
triple threat juke, ball stripper, hustler, and menace. Now, these badges don't sound bad. Now, I'm going to read through every one of them. Fast twitch, ability to get off the floor quicker for standing layups and dunks. Now, that just sounds like, well, you just make layups quicker than usual. So, that don't sound too bad for a bad. Grace under pressure, ability to convert standing layups more effectively. Remember last year, sometimes you would miss open layups in 2K21 Nation. And I did not like that. Limitless takeoff, ability to soar from further away on drive and dunk attempts. So, that sounds like you dunking from afar, like the free throw line. That sounds like you glide, basically. Mouse and house, ability for base to finish over shorter players more efficiently. Now, I don't even know why that's a badge. You need a badge just to be a big to finish over a dude that's smaller than you. That's weird, but hey, all right. Unshippable ability, ability to secure the ball better when gathering for a layup and dunk in traffic. Now, that sounds like a good badge. Now, all it comes down to the execution of that badge, because that badge, like, it can be overpowered with a slash. You just gather the ball for a layup and dunk in traffic, boy. You do that with some contact dunks and the right combo. That's that's a crazy bad chef ability to knock down stuff like off the three D threes, off the dribble D threes. What's I think it's like circus. That sounds like circus threes basically from two kids on one next gen. And people didn't really use circus threes because everybody was just six seven running around. Some people use circus threes. I didn't, but some people did. Limitless spot of abilities to hit logo range threes off the catch and shoot. Now, this gonna be a good badge for the spotters if it does what it does. Or if it does what this says in the description, this is gonna be an amazing badge for spotters because that's gonna take the game out of this world. That's gonna be a crazy game. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna love to see that badge work. Lucky number seven, boost your ability to score when shooting early in the clock. So basically, catch and shoot people. That can work for them too. They put on that limitless spot up. That, that's a deadly combo. Mismatch expert ability to shoot over taller defenders on a switch. Now, that sounds good too. You can shoot over a big as a guard. You can shoot over a big if they switch on you. Now, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna use that one. Glue hands ability to make difficult catches and quicker branch off shots or dribble. Okay. Basically, so you just gonna. So I guess basically, you just get the crazy, you just shoot crazy shots off the dribble when you get the ball quick enough. I guess, I don't know. I see how it work when it works. Hyperdrive boosts the speed and effectiveness of all dribble moves. Off dribble moves. No, of moving dribble moves. I'm tripping. I am tripping. So basically, that sounds like kind of like quick first step. Basically, that's what hyperdrive sounds like. Quick chain. Boost the ability to quickly chain dribble moves together so you can dribble quick. Now, I wonder how the stamina is going to work with dribbling. That's another question because it's like a good dribbling badge too. Post playmaker is finally a badge now. Boost the effectiveness of both shots and moves when playing in the post. That sounds crazy. That sounds like a good move for pro am or a good badge for pro am. Triple threat juke increases the effectiveness of triple threat face jabs and go moves. I'm going to use that badge a lot because that triple threat move is always underrated. So if that badge actually work and get defenders stuck, that's going to be a crazy badge. Ball stripper. Ability to strip layup and off. And be, ability to strip layup and dunk attempts more effectively. So basically they run at you, you get to strip the ball. See, that sounds like a good badge, but it's, it might make me mad because I don't know. I'm about to see about it. It sounds fun, though. It sounds like a good badge for a defender. Now, if I go for a layup and they just strip me out of nowhere when it's like two seconds left and at the end of the game, I'm going to be heated. And they come off, oh, boy. It sounds like a good badge. Your hustler ability to get those scrappy 50-50 balls quicker than opponents. Hustler sounds like a good badge, but when it comes to 2K, they always make you dive out of bounds. Now, if I use this badge and I go out of bounds with the ball, it is no use of having this badge in the game. But hopefully it works. Menace significantly drops the offensive ratings of opponents when you get when you smother them. Now, that sounds like defensive stop. I'm going to use that badge. Menace, if that work, boy, boy, I'm telling you. This, hey, this blog sounds nice. They got some nice new badges in the game. Nice new badges. But what do they do? 
and we get to choose from different loadouts. Now the loadouts is gonna be fun because you can switch your badges from park to rec badges to what else? I don't know, like Pro Am three, we doing Pro Am five v five. Hopefully they bring the rep the rep back in that too, because Pro Am Pro Am be lit. I don't man, Pro Am be lit. I don't care what nobody be saying. And they've also ported all 80 badges to current gen 2 for a mass upgrade for the fan base. Okay. Sounds like, a, hey, it sounds like the game's sounding real good right now. Now, all I'm waiting for is to play the game in 10 days, well, 11. And when the game come out, I'm going to see how it is. And if it's, well, regardless, I'm going to be trying to grind content the best I can. Regards, I'm gonna try to post a lot more than I have in the past. Even though this is a new channel starting over, I'm gonna still try to post a lot more than I usually do. So, hey man, be on the lookout. That's just all I wanted to go over on the blog. But hey, if you want to look at it, I'm gonna try to post a link in the description. Like I said, we 10 days away now. The game sound good right now on paper, but it's all about execution with 2K now. They can execute it, it's gonna be a fun year. Hey man, like I said, it's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.